Hi everyone. So I want to talk to you about um, something that I think every hiker and backpacker should bring along um, when they're going out on a trip and um, that is having a dedicated survival bag and a dedicated essentials bag um, for all of your gear. Uh, and basically these things consist of you know essentials, the essentials like your headlamp, uh, toilet paper, Purell, um, bug spray, bug net, you know anything that you might need as a quick grab and go item um, so it's all in one place and um, it's ready to go. Survival, um, kind of the same thing uh, but for any emergency situation and this is one that you'll actually touch you know very infrequently because it is for those exact survival situations um, you know things like a bivy, uh, reflective blanket, poncho, uh, emergency fire starter kit and I'll get into you know the contents of both of these bags um, in just a minute but what is great about this system is that um, you know you can organize um, everything to fit your needs um, for the trip you're going on for me um, these remain this never changes whether I'm going hiking or backpacking uh, because you know if, if you're hiking and it's a you know plus five mile hike and let's say you can't make it back to the car uh, for any reason and um, you're gonna want to have you know this because you're gonna have your you know be able to build a shelter um, you're gonna be able to have fire you know purify water um, anything of that nature and as well as you know on a backpacking trip let's say you know something of my gear malfunctions and um, you know I need an emergency shelter or fire or anything of that nature this it's always good to have and it's great for any scenario you set it up once and um, you know right before you go on your trip you're not you know thinking okay what are all the little things that I need to bring along it's already done it's in one place you bring a trip to trip you go on a day hike you take it you know out of your bin put it in your day bag um, the next weekend you go backpacking you take it out of your day pack put both of these in your uh, backpacking pack um, and the great thing is I'll go through what I have in mind but you can completely tailor these to your own needs and um, you know maybe the climate that you're in. Um, some things may apply to others wherein um, it might not uh, to others. So um, basically like if, a good example would be if you have um, bug repellent and you're in a climate that really doesn't have a lot of bugs or a time of the year where there aren't a lot of bugs like wintertime then you know you can shed some of that weight and this is good for ultralight hikers through hikers um, you know heavy backpackers um, you know anything you can tailor these to fit your exact needs and so I'll go through um, each one of them in just a minute all right so this is the basic um, survive bag or survival bag that I made and put together um, all together it weighs about 12 ounces 12.9 uh, ounces so not too bad to always bring along with you. Um, what I keep in here is uh, just a random little bunch of cordage. Um, I pre-cut a few of these. Some of it's from some tarp that um, you know I used to use it on some tarpage and things like that. Just some lightweight cordage, paracord, and um, some other nylon. Um, I have uh, just some emergency medication, uh, Advil, some you know personal medication, things like that that I always bring along. I have um, this little emergency fire starter kit. Um, it's by UCO. And it has a little striker on the side right here. Um, it came with basically just matches, but I filled it with um, a bunch of different items, just packed it tight. Um, I have some of these little uh, matches with that will you know hold a burn for a while. Um, I have some quick little you know fire starter some little cotton right there um, I did put a mini Bic lighter in there just for quick use and it has a flint striker as well in there let me, fit, let me see if I can get that out there you go and that's from SOL I kind of this is a conglomeration of some different fire starters that I had I could probably augment um, you know, like this, since it has a striker on it, or you could use the one from the lighter, um, and just put more matches in there or more cotton, but, um, you know, it works for me and I feel safe, you know, having 
different options uh, for starters out there for uh, emergency situations. So there's that. And then another piece that I have is um, just an emergency uh, whistle. Um, it's lightweight, you know, you never know you'll have it um, until you need it, which is great. Uh, some duct tape because that's very versatile and you can use this in multiple scenarios from wounds to repairs. Um, and then just a really small uh, multi-tool. This one is a Leatherman, the Squirt P4. And, um, you know, just small enough to where it's really lightweight, has pliers, has a knife, um, some different, you know, tools down there, you know, a nail file, all the basic stuff in a multi-tool. This is great. This is my favorite, you know, light multi-tool to bring along, even just for, you know, ultralight camping. And then the, I also bring just an emergency poncho um, to, you know, you can use that for your, uh, your body if it's raining or, you know, to rig a, um, you know, uh, makeshift shelter with the cordage that you have. And then the last piece that I bring is this SOL um, bivy. Um, you know, this is great for any you know, cold temperature or, you know, overnight that you'll have to, um, you know, uh, go through, hopefully not, but at least, you know, with these items, you can survive a few extra days. Um, you know, if you're trapped out there, you have shelter, you have fire, you have, you know, a multi-tool for any um, scenarios, a whistle for rescue and any medications that you may absolutely need. Um, and with that, I'll weigh out, a few, weigh out a few of those, just so you have an idea of what you're working with. Um, the bivy is 3.8 ounces. The uh, poncho is 1.3 ounces. The cordage, which I just jumbled together, was 1.3 ounces. You can add to this. You can, you know, take away, subtract from that. Um, just the little pills are 0.4 ounces. Um, duct tape is 0.6 ounces. Uh, the whistle, 0.3 ounces. Um, just a little container, which you probably don't even need this if you want to save weight, um, is 0.4 ounces. The entire match kit that I have is one, uh, 2 ounces. And the multi-tool is 1.9 ounces. And if we want to get, you know, for measuring everything, uh, the little baggie is 0.3 ounces. So, that's the basic um, survival kit that I have together and it uh, works great for me. You can add to this, you can uh, subtract from this uh, to fit your own personal needs and you know environments that you're in. But um, starting with this is always, um, these basics is a good place to start. All right, now I'll get into uh, you know the essentials kit. Overall, this, my kit weighs about 15.2 ounces and I'll open it up so you can see what I have in there. I mean this is a cheap bag. I got it at EMS. Uh, you can get it at Dick's um, but this is just a field and stream bag. I don't know how many liters it is. I'll go ahead and just pour all this out. Uh, all right so there's the bag. The bag itself weighs about 0.4 ounces. Um, to start off um, I keep a lightweight titanium trowel in here. This one is the deuce, number two, UL trowel, 0.6 ounces. Let's see if that's true. 0.6 ounces, yep. Um, keep On that same topic, I keep a roll of toilet paper. Um, you know, whatever you have just left on the roll at home is good. Um, that weighs about 0.8 ounces. I can probably shed some of this off if it's just, you know, one day because who needs that? Much toilet paper? I don't know. Um, I also have um, some body glide, just a small little, you know, thumb size, a little push body glide, and that weighs 0.3 ounces. Um, I also take Purell. Um, this is, again, probably more than I need, but, you know, it kind of is one of those things where you don't really want to, you know, have to keep replenishing everything in your kit um, every time you use it. So I think that's enough weight for me to sacrifice, which is 1.3 ounces. 
I also bring my Benz 100, again, kind of overkill on the size of this. So some bug and tick repellent is 1.5 ounces. Um, I bring a lighter. Um, you know, these are all the things that you're gonna use you know, right when you get to camp or, you know, you're on the trail and, you know, the bugs are bothering you or you have to go to the bathroom or anything like that. So um, this big lighter standard is 0.7, I, 0.7 ounces. I haven't used this. It's still pretty full. So I haven't used a lot of it. Um, I bring some uh, sunscreen because um, summertime in New York and I'm very Irish. So I definitely need that. And that's 1.2 ounces. Um, I bring in here, I actually wrap up my headlamp because what I've actually had happen in the past is, um, you know, I kind of toss my essentials bag around and I just forget about what's in there and I crack the screen on my, or, uh, you know, screen on my uh, old um, headlamp. It still worked, but, um, you know, it's always good just to protect it. This is the Black Diamond Spot, I believe. Just got it. It's 3.1 ounces with batteries. Um, I always bring a bandana, uh, one ounce, extra batteries. This is really important for, um, you know, having your headlamp because in the winter time it, it dies really fast and you may forget, you know, you, you don't want to replace your batteries after every single backpacking trip or hiking trip. So just to have a spare set is really good. You know, I'll always, you know, it almost seems like Every three trips, I have to replace my head, uh, uh, batteries in my headlamp. I tend to use it a lot at night, you know, um, at night on the trail, things like that. Um, and you wanna go lithium too, because these will stand up in cold weather. Um, the three of those, which mine takes, is 1.3 ounces. Just some extra cordage. I know I said I had this in my uh, survival kit, but um, you know, I'll use this for stringing up a, my bag in a tree for food. Um, you know, rigging a tarp, uh, just really anything. And I kind of want to keep my survival bag so separate from this, so I'm not going into it all the time and, you know, forgetting to replenish something. So that amount of cordage is 1.5 ounces. I don't know how many feet it is. Um, an assortment of pills. I uh, keep, you know, some Harper medication, some Mucinex, some Advil, some Tylenol, um, all in there. And uh, this is just a really small, I think Nalgene makes these little portion size uh, vials and they're cheap and that comes to 0.8 ounces and I think the last piece that I had was just some chapstick and this is Burt's Bees I think I've used half of it and it's 0.3 ounces this is great um, you know because you can use they ta everyone talks about how versatile chapstick is whether you know it's not just for your lips whether you want to put it on a wound use it to um, you know keep a fire burning when you're trying to get it started um, different things like that, you know, think of Vaseline when you put a cotton swab in Vaseline and you, you know, spark it and it burns for, you know, a couple minutes. It, that kind of stuff applies with chapstick. It's very versatile and great for the outdoors. So that's my essentials kit. And like I said, you know, you will add or subtract to this depending on your needs and your comfort level of uh, what you want to bring. So, um, yeah. All right, so that is what I think, you know, every hiker and backpacker needs um, are these two kits. Um, I hope you got some, you know, tips and tricks from uh, this demonstration and it's a great, you know, organizational method um, to go by. It's been helping me out for, you know, the last couple of years in my um, hiking and backpacking. Definitely encouraging when you um, have a ton of gear like I do and it's all in a big bin and you don't want to go through it every single time um, you know, before a trip and because if you go in fr infrequently, then, um, you'll end up forgetting, you know, what you might need and you don't want to miss anything. Um, one thing I also wanted to mention was that it's a good idea to, once you put your list together of what goes in each one for you, um, to put that in your phone somewhere. I put it in my, I have an iPhone. I put it in the notes section. Um, just have it under, you know, uh, backpacking gear and I have my essentials bag with a li little bullet list of um, each piece of gear and then before I go on a trip I just look through that list and look through this bag um, you know if I if it's a really long trip or something and I want to make sure I have everything you can just double check um, everything about you know being out in the woods is being safe and taking those steps to be prepared so um, again I hope you learned something um, that uh, you may have otherwise not known and um, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you.